Okay, we are going to construct an angle congruent to angle ABC. I have not measured angle ABC. I do not know how many degrees it is. But I'm going to use um, a compass, a trusty compass, to construct an angle congruent to angle ABC. So step one is to construct a ray. So simple, construct a ray. I have constructed a ray. That simple. Step two is to take my compass, put my compass at the vertex of the first angle. Two. Tip on vertex of first angle. Step three, construct an arc on first angle. Step three, construct an arc on the first angle. Step four, put tip on end point of ray. Simple. Four, tip on end point of ray. Step five, uh, construct Congruent. Does anyone know what congruent means? Anybody? Congruent? It means the same. Congruent arc uh, from endpoint. So congruent arc. So I go to this endpoint and construct this arc. Step six. Step six is the tricky part. Measure with compass the distance between the intersections. Look what I'm doing. I'm measuring with the compass the distance between the intersections. So I measure the distance between the intersections. Step seven. I put the tip on the intersection of the ray. Seven. Put the tip on the intersection of the ray. Step eight. Construct arc using measurements from six. Construct arc using measurement from step six. And step nine, does anyone guess? Construct a ray from endpoint to intersection. Can the beaches draw the compass? Like, didn't you, didn't you just leave the compass? Just go all the way down. You mean the protractor? Yeah. That's right. Of course you could use the protractor, but this is a construction. This is something you can do with just a compass. You don't need a protractor. Yeah. Construct ray to complete angle. Okay, so now the way you know you've done this correctly is you measure both angles. And both angles should have exactly the same measurement. Remember, I never measured this angle. So I did, obviously didn't use a protractor for this one. I never measured it. Now I'm going to measure it. So here I get my measurement and it is 52 degrees. 
So if my construction here is correct, I should be within three degrees of that. If it's 49, okay, that's fine. If it's 55, okay, that's fine. What if it's 37? It's off. Right, what if it's 60? Okay, but if it's around 52, then I gotta be happy with that. And I look at it, guys, and it's 51. So, did I do a good construction here? Good enough. Okay, so follow these dire directions. Let me read this for you one more time because I know the handwriting is um, D plus at best. Construct ray, step one. Step two, tip on vertex of first angle. Step three, construct arc on first angle. Step four, tip on end point of ray. Step five, construct congruent arc from that end point. Step six, measure the distance between the intersections. Step seven, put the tip on the intersection of the ray. Step eight, construct an arc using the measurement from step six. And step nine, construct a ray to complete the angle. So that's how you, uh, that's how you construct a congruent angle. That's level four for this week. Thank you very much.